Hello there my RPG lovers and welcome to another video. Hellpoint is an upcoming third person action RPG. We talked about this game a few months ago, but back then we only had the demo for Hellpoint. If you somehow forgot about this game, now is a good time for a reminder because it's coming out at the end of July. I received the key for the game a few days ago and these are my first impressions. I'm keeping this video spoiler free as much as possible and all the footage used is from the first location in the game. Hellpoint is set on a space station called Irene Novo and it has a decent presentation in the beginning. If you like space settings combined with some light horror elements you'll probably enjoy what Hellpoint has to offer. However, it doesn't bother you a lot with the story because right after the first cutscene you're good to go. And quite honestly, this is to be expected in a game that's inspired by Dark Souls. That being said, it's not like Hellpoint doesn't have an interesting premise. This space station is orbiting a black hole in real time and this will affect your gameplay in a couple of ways. The reason why the space station got flooded with monsters is the catastrophic event called the Merge. And you're basically on a mission to find out what happened. You don't get to customize your character, which is a bit disappointing actually. And you don't get to choose any class in the beginning, you just get a simple weapon and a shield and you're good to go. The controls are obviously really important when it comes to Souls-like games and I'm glad to say that Hellpoint developers did a good job when it comes to this. Controlling your character feels responsive and precise, at least in this early stage of the game. It's highly recommended that you play Hellpoint with a controller, but I remember playing the demo with my mouse and keyboard and I didn't have any problems. This time around, I decided to start the game with my Xbox One controller and everything seems to work fine. The gameplay feels a bit smoother than I remember from the demo, which was to be expected. One thing that I have to point out when it comes to the controls is the dedicated jump button. I don't know about you, but I always hated how Souls-like games don't have a dedicated jump button for some odd reason. Well, in Hellpoint you can jump by pressing only one button. It feels a bit janky, but almost all RPGs are struggling with jumping animations, so this is nothing new to me. Not long after you start the game you will find a breach, which basically works really similar to the bonfire in Dark Souls series. You can level up your character here by spending axions, the currency in Hellpoint, connect the bridge to others so you can travel between them, and you can even increase or decrease the strength of enemies in the universe. This sounds really interesting, but I still don't know how it actually works. I think this is a good place to mention the UI design. I don't like it, simple as that. I really feel like this could be a lot better. While it does fit the dark theme of the game visually, it feels uninspired and really simplistic. Not to mention the overall size of the menus, it's way too small. Of course, this is not a huge deal breaker, but it's definitely worth mentioning. Now let's talk about the combat and the level design. You won't have a lot of different enemies to fight in the first area, but just enough so you can get a good idea of how the combat works. The combat is obviously stamina based, but you also have a mana bar that you use for special attacks later in the game. I got to experience this in the demo, but I still didn't get far enough in the release version. But these unique weapon attacks will undoubtedly be a big part of your build. You have light and heavy attacks on different buttons. Hitboxes feel decent for all that I could see so far, I didn't experience anything crazy and broken. I like to measure the distance between my character and enemies and start my heavy attack a bit earlier. And if your timing is right, it works great. Of course, this is only for regular enemies, mini bosses and bosses are a different story, that's yet to be tested. But you can still find some elite enemies in this zone and the difficulty spike is quite noticeable. I had to gather some axions and level up my character in order to kill this guy. And remember when I mentioned that the black hole will affect the gameplay? Well, I got to experience this once and I saw a couple of new enemies in this zone. The black hole can also modify enemy stats and positions and trigger some dynamic effects like this. It's a pretty cool feature and I really want to see how it works later in the game. When it comes to the level design, I was kinda worried about this. The level design in the demo was not so good, but I'm glad to say that it's much better now. You have a lot of shortcuts and interconnected areas. Exploration feels great and you can find some extra loot and secrets if you are curious enough. There's a lot of verticality involved, but it's not overdone and you won't feel lost. The atmosphere in Hellpoint is amazing, which makes the exploration feel a lot better. It can be really creepy, especially when you're exploring some area for the first time and you don't know the enemy placement. I would say that's definitely a strong reason to play this game. 
speaking about strong reasons to play this game, Hellpoint has a co-op feature and even a split-screen co-op. I have tried to get some footage from the online co-op, but I couldn't connect to the host for some reason. It works similar to Dark Souls, you can place a sign on the ground and expect some company. You can also write messages like this, but you can only use signs, which is kinda confusing. There is a boss fight at the end of this level, but I won't spoil that. This whole area feels like a great tutorial zone, but I really want to see how other zones in the game are designed. And I guess those would be my first impressions of Hellpoint. Like I said, the final stage of the game feels a lot better than the demo. They definitely made some great progress, but I'll have to play a lot more so I can give you my final thoughts. You won't have to wait for long if you want to play this game, unless you plan to play it on the Switch. It's coming on Steam, Xbox and PS4 on July 30, and later this year on Nintendo Switch as well. I would like to hear your opinions about Hellpoint in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Special thanks to my Patreons, and if you as well want to become one of them, all the links are in the description. Patreon is definitely the best place to directly support my work, and every contribution is highly appreciated. That would be all, and I'll see you in the next one.